So there are some things you don't talk about when you meet people. When you meet new people, you don't just say everything, anything that comes into your mind. I think uh, people are very different. That's the first thing you need to know and understand and respect. Not everybody thinks like you. Not everybody perceives life the way you do. So sometimes you need to be aware of that and try to not walk on other people's feet. So I got a few things I need to give you today. The first thing you do, just don't say to anybody is you don't just talk about your achievements to just anybody. Especially when you meet somebody new. You don't just say, okay, you know, I've accomplished this. I've got this degree. I've got that degree. Well, you know, I worked on this uh, project and we made so much thousands of dollars, whatever your currency is, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm working on a new project. And it's not very polite, especially you just met somebody. You're not very close to them. You don't know how they feel. It may come across as very arrogant. Okay, nobody likes arrogant people. Trust me. I mean, the first impression is very important in any situation. People never forget the first impression. Uh, and the reason why you want to actually see somebody a, a second time, it's usually because of the first impression they gave you. The first impression is crucial. So try not to, to, to talk too much about yourself when you meet somebody for the first time. Talk about your achievements. Uh, the thing is, if your achievements don't talk for themselves, it means you haven't worked hard enough. Your achievements should be able to talk for you. Okay, you shut up, your achievements flow out. Your achievements talk for you. Your achievements say he's great. Your achievements are evident. If you need to talk about your achievements, maybe you still need to work on them. Number two of things you shouldn't be talking about with just anybody. You don't talk about your intimate life, okay? The intimate details of your relationship. Doesn't matter whether it's, uh, you know, in a bedroom or difficulties you encountering you and your you know your special one it's your business it's your life you don't just share with just anybody i know somebody that used to talk a lot of negative things about her husband i remember one day i saw them fighting and she was screaming out loud like what kind of a man are you people see you outside they think you're a real man but you're not i'm unhappy she was you know what you all know what she was you're not a man you're not a man and when I heard that, I thought, I thought that they were going to split up. I thought that, were, you know, it's going to just, go, it, that's it, you know. And uh, a few days later, I think about three days later, I saw them back together. They were perhaps back together, evidently, but everybody heard that detail, that a man was not a real man. In that sense, you know what I'm trying to say. And that's a shame. You ex how can you expose your own man like that? How can you just go out there and throw him under the bus? Like, you're not a man. And people see me and they think I'm, a, you know, you don't satisfy me. How do you, how can you do that? So the details of your relationships, you don't talk about it. Number three, that you don't just talk about to anybody. You don't reveal secrets that were given to you by your brother to people. Okay, people may come to you and talk to you about the situation, the hardship, the difficulty, the challenges they're going through. You don't just go out there and talk about it. Just because you can, because a lot of people do it, you know, a lot of people do it. Um, you give it as an example, somebody told me this, that, this, that. it's wrong. When somebody talks to you about the personal life, you don't talk about it. I know somebody talk, told somebody uh, that he, you know, he was, well, he went to hospital, uh, did a blood test, and they found that he was, he had an incurable disease. Okay, he, talk, he spoke to somebody close, and that person who was a pastor spoke to his wife, and the wife went and told her best friend. Then everybody knew that this man finally had a, you know, an incurable disease because everybody was looking at him funny. You know what I mean? You, you've got a situation. You go to hospital and you're told that you got an incurable disease. You come and talk to your pastor because you trust him. Then your pastor goes and speaks to his wife and the wife goes and speaks to a friend. A friend talks to her husband. That's why I firmly believe that whether you're just a um, John Doe or you're a pastor, certain things you should keep for yourself yes okay i understand you need to be one that's how you say in christianity one plus one equals one however maturity says if your other one is not matured enough to keep secrets that are crucial maybe you shouldn't share it with them until they get the maturity that necessary to get to that level number four that you don't just talk about to anybody you don't talk about family issues with just anybody Okay, if you've got problem with your brother, your sister, your siblings, 
you try to resolve it within family. You try to find solution with your brothers and sisters and uncles and stuff. You don't go out there saying, yeah, my brother's like this. My brother took money from me. And the bottom line is people may, you know, go like, oh, really? How could you do that? But once you leave, this is what they're going to say. If she's talking like this about her own sister, what is she going to say about me? Because that's the bottom line. If you can talk ill about your brothers and your siblings, what kind of person, like, what kind of a human being are you? You're not, you're not reliable. So your family issues, you keep it within family. You need help, find appropriate people to talk to about. People that are close enough to find solutions to help you grow, to move forward. You don't just meet somebody and start saying how much you hate so-and-so. I've heard that before. You know, somebody come, you see that guy named Patrick. I hate him. I think he's arrogant. I think he's disrespectful. Really, what happened? Now nah, we used to be cool, but you used to be cool. Yeah, we used to be cool, but so and so happened. And then I just, you know, I just turned around and I, I didn't like the way he talked to me and stuff like that. And what came into my mind was, okay, if this guy is going to talk like this about that guy with whom they used to be very close, how is he going to talk about me to other people? So be very careful what you say, especially when you express your hate, your dislike, your discontentment, your unhappiness, your disappointment about somebody, whether it's in public or not. I'll, I'll suggest you don't do it in public. But if you choose to talk to somebody about it, be very careful on what words you're using, what means you're going through, you know, how you're applying your anger. The way you express yourself, people will not judge the situation based on how things happen. People will judge the situation based on how you react. And that's very dangerous. Number six of things you don't just talk about with anybody. You don't make negative comments about people just like that. I mean, you don't just make negative comments like, oh, your t-shirt is not nice. I don't like it. It makes you look fat. Dude, it's not your t-shirt. It's not your body. Like, oh man, you're looking thin these days. What's wrong with you? You don't know what people are going through in life. Maybe they have issues, lost somebody special. Maybe they found out they've got a difficult disease to treat. You don't make these comments. There are certain questions you don't even ask. Like, you know, like, I saw you came from the hospital. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What, what disease do you have? That's none of your business. Like, how many kids do you have? That's none of your business. It's none of your business because let the person speak about the personal life. It's none of your business because maybe he's got difficulties conceiving. Why do you have to ask him how many kids he's got? If he wants to talk about his kid, he's going to talk about his kid. Okay, there's ways you could ask that. Oh, I've got kids. I don't know if you... I've got kids. I don't know if you... Oh, no, no, I don't have. That's okay. That's different from saying how many kids do you have? It's not the same. I've got kids. I don't know if you... Oh, no, no, I don't. Oh, yes, I do have kids. You got to be very careful on how you apply these things to people. So negative comments are not necessary. If you don't find somebody attractive, you don't have to tell it to them. You don't find them big enough, smart enough, tall enough. That's your business. Keep it within yourself. You don't have to tell anybody about it. Number seven of things you shouldn't be sharing or talking to just strangers. The seventh thing is usually apply among business people, okay, entrepreneurs. When you're talking to someone new and you're trying to cut a deal together, you don't, if, especially if it's the first time, you don't necessarily show them how impressed you are with the deal, okay, because they're going to use it against you. You could be happy with the deal, but try to deal with it within yourself or be happy in private. If you show too much of your happiness too much of you know i've just gained this is great well, yeah you should i'm not saying you should be grateful you should be grateful and be positive but you shouldn't be too open about how you feel about it because they may use it against you thank you very much guys i really appreciate you if you like this please join us subscribe to the channel we're going to be sharing so many things documentary travels uh, advice you know so many things together let's build this together thank you so much i wish you a beautiful evening God bless.